Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge playing Mickey Hennessy in Old School RuneScape. And I'm going to do a little uh, money making thing today, uh, just for some fun. Uh, I had a good idea earlier uh, because I was thinking, gosh, you know, I need a hundred grand pretty quick. And how am I going to get that reasonably quick? So my idea is to actually get pineapples. Pineapples are selling quite a bit right now, and so are all of their fruits. But the way I got, I don't have any money. Let's pretend I have no money, and I'm going to go and pick up a bunch of ashes and make some money. As many of you know, one of the fastest ways to make money if you have no money is to come to the GE where the people are lighting fires and pick up their ashes because they're lazy and they won't do it. I would always, of course, light the fires and pick up my own ashes, but that's just me. That's the way I play it. Uh, so this guy here with his uh, fat, fake fat, as I like to call it, uh, is leaving his uh, fires to uh, burn. I'm going to pick up these ashes, and once I have... I'm going to do about three inventories worth, because I think that's all I'm going to need, and it'll probably be right around 3,000 coins. That should be plenty for what I'm going to try to do today. And I want to do this in half an hour, and so I've already figured out it's going to take me literally half an hour to make about 100,000 coins. Uh, there was actually a big server hack uh, the last couple of days. Uh, I even had... Uh, Somebody tried to change my um, my password and so forth, uh, which is actually a first for me because I change my password so often. And uh, But yeah, I was a bit surprised. And so I'm not going to even hop worlds. All I'm going to do is do everything on the exact same world, and we'll see how quickly I can make uh, 100,000 coins. Okay, that's inventory number one. So we're getting about 1,300 coins there. That's not too bad. That's actually... Uh, that's quite a bit. So hopefully, yeah, like I said, uh, if we get uh, three full inventories worth, we should have about 3,000 coins. Let's see what happens after I finish that. All right, well, I'm going to do just two and a half. Uh, uh, I'm going to get moving on this. Because I know they're selling for 40-some coins a piece, 45-ish. Or... So let's see, 40-ish. That sells instantly. And we now have 3,337 coins. So that's plenty to get things going. So now we run to Port Serum. So here's how it's going to go over and over and over. We're going to talk to Trader Stan or one of his representatives, and we're going to buy all his fruits. The reason for buying the fruits is because we can note them with the leprechaun. Makes good sense, right? So I'm going to run up north here to this leprechaun by the bar, by the rusty anchor. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to... And I'm going to keep everything noted the entire time. Uh, just You can use this little bank uh, right by the uh, Entrana monks. There's a drop box here, and you could certainly use that if you want. I have I don't want to mix up all of my stuff in my actual bank inventory, so I'm not going to use that uh, drop box. I'm just going to come up to the leprechaun up here. I'm going to note all of these things, and that way you can see how many I have throughout the video. But, of course, I would say to speed things up a little bit for yourself, just dump everything in your into that drop box, and you'll do well. Uh, so here we go. Now uh, We're all noted, and uh, I'm going to come back and do it again. Now I'm going to finish buying everything that Trader Stan, the fancy man, has. And then I'm going to run over to the uh, the cabin boy to go to the Corsair Cove. The only requirement, I guess, for this method is 3,000 coins, which you can just pick up by selling ashes, and doing the Corsair's Curse quest. That's the only... It's a, such a low-level beginner novice quest. You should do that anyway. Um, plus, because it's it's free transportation... Uh, that's also another really good reason to do that. Um, but because Trader Stan also has representatives over in the Corsair Cove, that's really what I want. So here's another leprechaun. Like I said, I'm just, you don't have to do this. I'm just going to keep noting things because I like to note things and it makes it, you know, keeping inventory easier. There's a bank in Corsair Cove and we can note things there and we will do that in just a second. Okay, I'm quickly going to go over here to the trader stand representative and pick up the pineapples first the pineapples have the highest priority because they sell for the most coin and then oranges and then bananas and i'm not picking up anything else but these things so i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna use the bank i'm gonna note these and then i'm going to uh, finish up the inventory and head out to do more Okay, I purchased all the fruits from those traders there near the uh, the charter boat here in Corsair Cove. I'm going to take the free travel back to um, the edge of uh, Remington, the western edge of Remington. I'm going to take talk to this cabin, uh, cabin captain here, and we're going to Brimhaven. Then I'm going to walk over to straight over to the leprechaun. I'm going to note this. I'm going to go to the traders that are up off to the left here. 
and pick up all of their supplies of pineapples, oranges, and bananas, and then we're going to go pick pineapples and load up. Hopefully everyone's been here before and seen the pineapples here in Brimhaven, just uh, the pineapple plants. Each one has five of them on them. Uh, I'm not going to get every single one. I'm going to get, uh, instead of, I'm going to get about 24 pineapples instead of 25 pineapples here. But I'm going to pick up all these. Again, like I said, the pineapples have the by far the largest markup right now, which is something like, uh, it's... 341 coins per each and I'm buying for five and then of course I get 24 for free I'm gonna come back here a little bit later rinse and repeat so to speak and uh, keep keep filling up on pineapples damn it ah this fly traps got me trapped little sticky bastards all right uh, let's finish that up and then we'll note and we'll move on Okay, I cut out the part where I went back to the traders right there at the dock and just picked up the rest of their supply. It's every, you'll get one new fruit every minute in the in their inventory, so it's my, totally worth going back and uh, picking up. Right now I'm going to run all the way over to Musa Point, and uh, I'm going to use, there's a uh, trader stand representative there as well. I'm going to get his stuff. All right, then it's back to Port Sarum. Uh, then we'll go and note everything at the, uh, the Leprechaun up north and then buy everything from the Trader Stand group there. And like I said, just keep it to the fruit. I'm trying to do this in under half an hour and trying to get to 100K the fast way. Okay, now I'm running back. I'm going straight back to Musa Point. We're buying everything from the Trader Stand reps there. We're noting everything. Then going to the other uh, Brimhaven Trader Stands group and getting everything from them, noting them. And now it's time to pick up more pineapples. And this should be pretty much near the end. Uh, that was the uh, the best part of this is that you can do this on 3000 coins. You're gonna have a little bit left over, but yeah, I'm gonna pick up all these pineapples and then, uh, and then we're gonna head out of here. Uh, just hit one more trader on the way back and try to load up on their stock and then see how much we uh, make off of this. All right, nearing the end now. That's three total trips to the uh, pineapple plants, and then a bunch of traders in between. Uh, you can start to see that this is this is adding up pretty pretty nicely. Uh, I'm gonna head uh, head back to uh, my home teleport of Lumbridge, and then uh, I'll run up to Varric. And so there's no extra cost for teleports. We'll just do it all by running and free teleports. The only cost really was ships. So let's get to Varric and see how much we made. All right, here we are, Grand Exchange. Let's see what happens. Try to turn, try to sell these things and uh, make a little money. Let's start with the oranges. Let's we'll just dock it down a couple of, couple of coins. Most of the stuff sells instantly. Bananas, knock it down a couple of coins. Should be good. And then the pineapples, we'll try to sell those at 341, I think. Just one coin difference. Sold instantly. What do we get? Oh, holy cow. 191,000? You gotta be kidding me. Uh, mm, I'm thinking. Yeah, how much is that? <laughs> Ninety-one thousand. Uh, I see what I know what it is. It's the pineapple sold for uh, a lot more. That's what's going on right now. Pineapples are selling for quite a bit. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, well, there you have it. I mean, that's a great deal. It should have been about ninety-three to ninety-five thousand coins for this run, but I'll take one hundred ninety-one thousand. That's probably not going to be the same result for everyone, but. Uh, there you have it. That a uh, quick way to make about a hundred grand, ninety some grand, but per half hour. And if you don't have any money, no big deal. I appreciate you all watching. This is uh, it's been a little bit of fun, you know, a little bit of interesting time. Uh, me trying to make a little bit of coin. All right, ciao for now.